welcome to the another new video today's video will cover a bit new content as i'm going to talk from agricultural perspective and in today's video i'm going to cover about genetic engineering and crop improvement then why do we need to improve crops well first reason to improve crop is to have better production you know uh, the growing population rate and the current production from our existing agricultural system is not enough to feed this population so in a future it might be a very big question like is our current or existing agricultural system would be enough like would be producing enough to feed these people so we should think uh, to improve the production and productivity so from the uh, genetic engineering or biotechnology we can improve our existing agricultural system um, to be more productive by improving crops for better production and productivity so that we can secure food for future generation and there are lot of people who are um, under the poverty line so we have to think for themselves for them as well I mean we have to feed these people as well so to maintain the food security and to uh, like maintain the food production and productivity level to feed a current and future population we have to improve our crops and another uh, reason is for better adaptation you know our uh, current globe and our uh, agricultural system is uh, facing lot of challenges or challenges and problems such as insect pest disease weeds and climate change you know insect pest disease and weed infestation is like havocly increasing and climate change is a global concern where the global warming and greenhouse gas emission is taking in concern so our agricultural system should have go through these uh, type of challenges and problems so in future we should have our agricultural system to be adaptive for this kind of infestation and climate change and global warming so that we can maintain our agricultural system even in the harsh situation because agriculture is main source of or main way of living so we have to improve our crop to be more productive or to be more adaptive or both based on the situation condition and our requirement how genetic engineering improves our crops genetic engineering itself defines a manipulation process which either edit um, either delete or silence some of the plant genome so that the um, beneficial genome we can either express or the harmful or the unwanted genome maybe we can silence or deactivate them so in this way we can either um, improve uh, our existing plants our crops or we can improve new completely new varieties by doing the manipulation of plant genome and the new Im new or improved plant varieties either would be resistant to the harsh situation or maybe high yielding in this way we can improve our crops using genetic engineering what are the genetic methods to improve our crops through breeding through mutation and through polyploidy method breeding in agriculture for plant help to exchange the traits between plants in order to produce desired characteristics so that the um, breeded plant will have higher chance for yielding or higher chance for adaptation there are different ways we do breeding using the genetic uh, engineering in plant in agriculture is hybridization hybridization is the process of interbreeding between individuals of different species or genetically divergent individuals from the same species it mean it will um, breed between the genetically similar or dissimilar plants to produce hybrid and the offspring produced by hybridization may be either fertile partially fertile or sterile but it have or it uh, the hybrid have higher yielding potential and another one is tissue culture 
we all know the meristem tissue the epical meristem is free from disease pest and virus so that we can um, take the meristem tissue uh, from the apical meristem and we can grow and we can develop healthy seedlings or saplings for future of future generations so that the future generation of that plant will be free from virus disease and other pests so that it would be adaptive and another one is crossing in science or in molecular genetics for uh, agriculture for plant crossing mean uh, either back cross full sip cross half sip cross or other different type of crossing crossing uh, mean exchanging genetic materials between plants and species in this way we can either uh, transfer the genetic material from the different species or different plants to the new plants or we can also uh, like delete or we can also remove the undesirable or unwanted traits in existing plant so that we often do the crossing and in some cases uh, we can check the uh, genetic purity of a certain plants by uh, crossing through the back rows and crossing uh, yeah usually help to uh, transfer or help to import the genetic material from the other species and some sometime it helps to like remove the unwanted on the, or desirable um, traits and another is mutation mutation is manipulation of genetic material either through the gene editing or through the gene modification or through the uh, gene addition deletion or silence you know uh, in a plant we uh, all plants have different type of genome set so we can edit this genome to add some desirable characteristics or to delete some unwanted characteristics or to deactivate the expression of certain unwanted or undesirable characteristics there are different way to do this either crispr either uh, cas9 crispr or zinc finger nucleases or talents or other gene editing tools or any recombinant dna technology which allow our plant to be muted or having new kind of genetic material in this way we can improve our crop to be more product productive or more adaptive another one is polyploidy method this polyploidy is the presence um, in a cell or more than a single pair of each chromosome and polyploidy can be result of a spontaneous multiplication of plant genetic material through the hybridization and the polyploidy help to multiply the genetic material and we can multiply the desirable genetic uh, material or genome so that we can have the more desirable traits on the plant or we can do the advance advancement of some uh, genetic material by gene multiplication or polyploidy or we can do the gene, gene, Im, gene improvement through the polyploidy so that our desirable traits or desirable characteristics would be more advanced or more improved and highly expressed but this method uh, may not be always uh, like beneficial however the uh, hybrid developed through the polyploidy have the high hybrid vigor so that it could be beneficial in plant for um, making it more productive how genetic engineering works in crop improvement through the breeding through, uh, for hybridization tissue culture and crossing how it works it brings desirable property through any process either hybridization or tissue culture or crossing it brings desirable property or traits or characteristics characteristics to the plant it brings disease free seedlings from tissue culture and remove the bad properties or bad traits or undesirable traits and how it works for mutation through the gene editing modification deletion or silencing it introduces the desirable genome by gene um, addition and remove unwanted genome by deletion and improve functional but not active genome by silencing and we can give examples of different genetically modified organisms in the agriculture such as golden rice bt cotton and 
how it works for polyploidy by multiplying, advancing and improving uh, genetic model in plant. It advances the genome from functional aspects and multiply the desirable and functional genome so that our desirable characteristics or our wanted or um, the um, most uh, desirable, I want to say desirable characteristics or trait would be multiplied in advanced and improved so that we will have that property. For example, if a plant is known for like high yielding, we can multiply that gene, high yielding gene, so that we will have the more production in next generation. Then is there any example for successful application of genetic engineering in crop improvement? Well, yes, we have. First, I would like to go for the research uh, studies. I mean, we have a um, lot of advancement in research studies and scientists have developed, um, uh, developed a model plant for um, genetic engineering studies in plant, which is Arabidopsis thaliana. It is known for different name in different country and continent, but in scientifically, a, it is called as Arabidopsis thaliana, which is model, model plant. And um, we, uh, like not we scientists and uh, most of the other uh, technicians are working with this plant first they do study in this plant to replicate the same um, like experiment with the our other agricultural plants for transformation for making GMOs and some uh, other addition deletion and hybridization uh, procedure first they do test with this plant and then they replicate with the other plant so this is the uh, well uh, like known example uh, that scientists have developed model plant for the um, plant genomic studies or plant genetic studies. However, we do have many other examples that we have achieved so far from the genetics or um, genetic engineering to improve our agricultural crops. So I do have some examples. First is Xanthomonas wilt resistant banana in Africa. This wilt uh, like had uh, damage many banana um, orchard or banana field in Africa and you know Africa like in Africa banana is a staple food source so um, introduction of the heart gene from the capsicum scientists have uh, like developed new um, variety of banana which is xanthomonas wilt resistant banana and another one is tearless onion. Uh, in New Zealand, this research is being in progress so far. And uh, this research is being carried out uh, through RNAi or gene silencing method. Another one is golden rice. I have given um, another lecture uh, in my previous video. So you can go there and find what is golden rice. Uh, but I'm just going to introduce um, uh, what is golden rice uh, in a brief year. Golden rice is a new genetically improved or genetically modified rice variety, uh, which is rich in vitamin A so that um, it helps to prevent uh, vitamin A deficiency related uh, problems in human and gives car give, gives carbohydrate source as well. So it's a, a good combination of uh, food for people who have uh, like rice as a main staple food source. So how it was success, like how it had got success is through the introduction of beta carotene in rice variety. And another one is purple tomato which prevent cancer and it has developed in uh, like Israel through the anthocyanin development gene. Another one is calcium rich carrots. Uh, this carrot um, like um, is useful to prevent calcium uh, deficiency related problems such as osteoporosis so that uh, people will have the um, health benefit by consuming this carrot and it uh, like was got success uh, through the introduction of CAX1 gene. And another one is healthy frank oil from soybean. It is uh, like developed through the gene silencing and this oil has low saturated fat, low trans and fats and no hydrogenation required for this um, oil and it is highly stable during baking. And another one is arctic apple which has no browning characteristics you know once we cut our apple our apple used to get brown but uh, this arctic apple it has no browning characteristics and it has like it had developed through the silencing of polyphenol oxidase and 
uh, we have some uh, like other achievements such as BT cotton and seedless watermelon, uh, disease free bananas, and uh, like seedlings through the tissue culture, and I have already mentioned about the golden rice, art apple, and purple tomatoes. Thank you so much for keep watching my video till end. Please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to keep motivating me keep supporting me thank you so much